Thanks for your company. The details now. As Samuel Jan will not feature for the Black Stars at the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations after recusing himself from senior national team duties. Ghana's all-time top scorer announced his decision in a statement where he also says he's retired. Now, there have been mixed reactions to his decision. For some, Asamoah Jan has not been treated fairly considering the sacrifices they believe he's made. But some also are questioning his patriotism. Now, I'll be back shortly to do some analysis on this. But before that, though, here are extracts of Asamoah Jan's statement. He says, my mother once told me you cannot tell the decision you did not make as betrayal because you have to expect it. And this is how he starts his uh, statement. He says, I still do not understand that statement anyway. I cannot pretend to be happy. I would rather hurt myself emotionally and psychologically. Over the years, I have served with an open heart and I've given my all to the best of my ability in my quest to serve our great nation, Ghana. I would say the last years have been the proudest moment in my career as a captain under the managerial leadership of coach Chrissy Apia. I stood solidly behind my coach during the difficult times in Brazil and in some cases supported the endeavors of the team financially when the need arose to make sure his tenure and my captaincy would not suffer challenges and to ride with the assertion a Ghanaian coach can do it. As an active footballer yet to retire, I have been in the team since 2003 and have played with some members of the technical team who are my seniors. Through such periods, there were no times substantive captains, and you need to pay attention to this bit, were part of a team in a tournament that had to surrender their captaincy to other players and served in different capacities. Mr. Richard Kinston and Stephen Apia will be in the best position to understand this, he says. My team, my family and fans have had reasons to whisper the trend of reportage and articles either to substantiate my exclusion or inclusion and again rumored roles I am to play at the AFCON in Egypt. In all, my answers have been respect the decision of the coach because the records under the year per game, minutes and goals for all attackers are evidence to guide his decision. Upon consultation with my family and team, and as an active footballer and captain of the national team, if the decision of the coach is to give captaincy of the tournament to another player while I am named in the team for the tournament, I wish to recuse myself from the tournament. I also wish to retire from the national team permanently, not pretending my presence will not fuel the purported undermining the country has seen under my captaincy. I would continue to serve the country Ghana in other endeavors as a businessman through various investments. So Samojan, the uh, you know, given reasons why he wants he has quit the, the Black Stars, and in that particular statement, he ends by thanking the president, uh, current and former presidents, for all they've done, and uh, his fans and journalists as well. But I have a well-resourced panel this morning for a conversation on this, and uh, Benedict Owusu, our very own, uh, with Joy Sports, is with me in studio. Fifi Anaman, sports journalist with Chrissy TV, joins us via Skype. And veteran sports journalist Nanajiman connects via phone. We'd also have uh, Neo Dati Lamte, who is a former Black Stars midfielder, joining the conversation to share his thoughts with us. Let me start with you uh, 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 in the studio, Benedict. Gary produced some analysis saying that he thinks that this, the manner in which this has happened reveals the fractured state of Ghana's football. Do you agree? Well, it's just unfortunate uh, we've gotten to this point uh, because, I mean, this, I would say, is nothing new. Because, I mean, previously we've been witnesses to issues of this nature in the Black Stars, but anytime you come out and you say, it, they, they, they come out to deny. And with what has happened, it tells you that there were real issues. That's why I perfectly agree with 
mm. that's the headline Gary gave his article. And yesterday, when he was writing the article all around it, we deliberated on it. And mm. I, I think that everything that has gone on, as I mentioned, is very, very unfortunate. Uh, the timing mm. for me is the problem because we have a tournament to play in a month's time. And if the coach is about to name his squad and this is happening now, that's a very big problem for us. I mean, even if we wanted to do something of this nature, why didn't we uh, do it when we qualified for the tournament four mm. months ago mm. and now we are doing it this way? Mm. The timing is a problem. The mode of communication also is a problem for me. If you're a coach and you want to, you know, relinquish a player of a captaincy, what do you do? You just come out and announce. You don't speak to the player and tell him that he should come out and tell the public that, okay, I am part of the team for the Africa Cup of Nations, but this very tournament, I want to relinquish the captaincy mm. and let player A be the mm. captain of the mm. team. It's interesting you mentioned that, and we've got Nana Juman. He is a veteran sports journalist and a coach as well. So we'll be asking him what he makes of this mode of communication uh, of the, 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 the national uh, uh, national manager of the Black Stars, uh, Coach Chrissy Apia. But Fifi Anaman is a sports journalist with Chrissy TV. He joins us via Skype. Fifi, we've heard from your colleagues morning, here. Man. Good morning. Great to have you here on the show. Do you agree Hi. that that this was not communicated properly and the timing is wrong? Absolutely. I, 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 I talked about it a lot on Twitter last night, which is that a Samoan is a leader, right? And I believe that any person in a position of leadership has to accept the responsibility of leadership. Now, this is a leader who has come out on the eve of the announcement of a squad for a major tournament to tell us that, you know what, I am retiring. And not only am I retiring, but I'm retiring because they said they won't make me captain, and I am captain, and I want to be captain. I mean, even if he had genuine concerns, and I've seen a lot of um, theories going about that maybe he was treated unfairly and all that. That's all granted. But the way you communicate, I mean, this morning I saw a headline, one of our major newspapers saying that Asamwajan retires over captaincy war. Is this how he wants to bow out after 16 years, 106 caps, 51 goals, he wants to retire because he wasn't made captain? If I was Asamwajan, I know there's a lot of heads. You know, I know there's a lot of misunderstanding. But the more in which you communicate, you could have come out to say personal reasons. You leave it at that. You sort out the issues. Let Ghana go to the Afcon. Let us come back and let's discuss the issues. But you don't create a scene as a leader. You know, and you talk about some of these things and people think you are in the camp of Andrea Yu or Thomas Ter Party or whoever it is that people are speculating should be the next captain. I don't think it's about that. It's about how... There's been a lot of... Mm. Yes? Mm. Fifi, let me, let me, I mean, I just had to come in here. Do, so you agree with those who say right. that this decision by Samoajan Samoa is not patriotic enough and, and, and maybe quite petty? Well, I, I think it's a very delicate topic. Um, to say it is not patriotic is to sort of question 16 years of active leadership and selfless leadership. And I think that would be unfair on his part. But it's just the timing of, and for you to say, okay, I'm retiring, that's cool. You are retiring, you're a legend, will probably set in motion a series of programs to celebrate you. But you don't say in the statement that it is because you weren't made captain. If I was a Samadhan, I'd probably go to the tournament and prove to Ghanaians that it is not about the Yamban, it is about serving Ghana. But for you to come out to say that because I am not captain, I cannot be a part of the team, when mm. ironically, you started your tenure of captainship under similar circumstances. I mean, well, I think the whole thing well, plays against his legacy. We'll come to that shortly because in his statement, he actually claims that this has never happened. And so we'll come, we'll fact check that shortly. But <laughs> let me bring lie. in, let me bring in Nana Juman, who is a veteran sports journalist Hi. and a coach as well. Good morning, Nana. Thank you so much for joining the show. And, uh, good morning to all your listeners and your panel. Mm. Well, Nana, let me just ask you this question specifically because you are a coach. In that statement, Asamojan said that he had had heard rumors, his family and fans had hinted um, and, and told him, look, this is what we are hearing. And in all, he says that his response to them is that respect the decision of the coach because the records under the year per game, minutes and goals for all attackers are evidence to guide his decision. Do you sense that Asamojan is using this as um, 
a reason to say, look, I deserve this than any other attacker or any other player in, in Ghana's squad as it is now? No, I, I don't think so. I think um, it, it, it's bitter. I think this is a very bitter pill for him to swallow. I think he's very hurt. His ego has been bruised significantly. And um, he's actually even cutting off his nose to spite his face because he wants to play in the Afghan. He, he, he needs it to be his swan song, the way that he bows out. Mm. But because of the way this has been delivered, he's decided, well, no, I'm, I'm just totally out. Because he, he could have relinquished the captain armband or not accepted that it had been taken from him, but still participate in the Afghan. But the fact of the matter is, is that, look, I support his decision to resign. Um, and I support his decision to resign because he lacked the form that he once had. And we've got to be honest with ourselves. We've had this debate for a long time about Asamoah Jan's form. The decision to make one captain has to simply do with their performance and form. Well, you see, the dilemma that the coach had was this. You know, he was going to call Asamoah Jan in the squad, but Asamoah Jan would not have been a starter. He obviously would not have been a starter. He would have been someone who the coach would have called on for the last 20 minutes or so. That's the dilemma. And because of that, he had to have a captain who would be on the field. Mm. Because how do you have a captain that's sitting on the bench? You can't command anything from the bench. You see, and that's the issue. So... The coach recognizing this, communicated to Asamoah Jan. Asamoah Jan, within himself, mm. now recognize what is going to happen. He's going to be on the bench. All right. And, and he's going to lose the captaincy. And the whole thing is a bitter pill to swallow because, of course, he's given over a, a decade of contribution to the Black Stars. Mm. You know, albeit we've not won anything in that decade or that decade, but we've not mm. won a seed during that time. But he's given his contribution. His hand, his, his heart has been on his sleeve. And, and it's been good as far as our standards go. Uh, could but, this, could this, sorry to cut in, but could this have been managed better? You say you can call a captain of the side and he would be on the bench. But as it is now, or well, maybe let me put it this way, as it was before, there was a Samoan who was the captain and he had someone assisting him. Is it not possible, you are a coach, is it not possible to say, okay, look, let's just go as we are. Whoever is in the starting lineup, we've got the, we may have the assistant coach in, uh, assistant captain in there. So make him the captain while he's on the field, but you still have your technical role or maybe, uh, yeah, technical role as the captain, but you're on the bench. Couldn't we have, we have managed this? Was no, it, was it, it does, was it, it necessary to take like, it from him? It doesn't work like that. Okay. My captain be on the field of play and my captain will come off the field of the play if he's not playing very well or he gets injured during the course of the game my captain will not start the game sitting on the bench i already as a coach will have an assistant coach and other technical assistants who are there who will assist me on the bench what value will the captain add to, to me as the coach sitting on the bench none at all none at all because i'm the practitioner on the bench and the captain is a practitioner on the field. So far as I recognize that my captain doesn't have the form that I require for the African Cup of Nations, he can't be the captain. It's simple. He cannot be the captain. But, you know, there are bigger issues. There are bigger underlying issues. You see, we've always had a problem. And the management of the Ghana Black Stars have continually lied to us. I'm not even going to put it any nicer than that. They have lied through their teeth to us every single time. Every time there's been a problem and it's come out in the media, they've come out to, re to rebut it and mm. say it's not true, it's not true, it's not true. And this is a simple case of the chickens coming on to roost because they told us there's no rift between Jan and Ayu. There's no division in the Ghana Black Stars, but we all know that there is. Now, now, I'll have you pause there. Benedict was noted when you were just bringing in that contribution, Benedict. Yeah, you know, as Samajan feels betrayed, mm. the reason being that this issue that Nana talked about has been there. And since Asamajan became the captain, there's been issues, there have been talks about, or reports about how, you know, Andrea Yu has not been happy with Asamajan being the skipper. And also when times as, when Asamajan is not in, uh, he's not happy that Andrea Yu is a skipper of the team. And almost every time when you bring these issues up, you get 
you know, the authorities telling us that, oh, there is nothing of that sort. And very recent, very, yeah. very recent. Yeah. I remember when we went to Ethiopia for the, our last qualifier away, the president, Nana Dankwa Kufadi, came there and he asked that he would like to see the players at the Flagstaff House uh, to look at how we can forge together and end the country's long wait for the Afghan title. And then there was a meeting between Asamwajan and Andrea Ayu with the coach as well as other top key uh, officials uh, of the mm -hmm. national team. And after that meeting, Dr. Kofi Amwa, who is uh, president of the Normalization Committee, mentioned that we asked him about uh, that issue between uh, Andrea Ayu and Asamwajan. If, uh, there's something still like that. And he said, oh, the president has ironed their differences and that the players are very united and mm. are okay. Mm. You understand? So at this point where this is coming, there is a coach saying that, you know, I'm going for a tournament and I feel uh, this is what I've been told. But, you know, on the face of it, we are all just talking about what we know yeah. or what we are seeing mm. on the pitch. Mm. But it will also surprise you to know that as Jan, this very statement, his spokesperson, Mention something that we also have to, you know, factor in our discussion, and then you can, based on uh, that, you make that your statement? judgment. What he said was that Coach Kusiapia was told by a spiritualist that if they should take Asamoah down to the tournament as captain, there is no way Ghana will win. Interesting. And that Andrea, you should be made the captain of the team at the tournament. And if that happens, hold on. If that happens, we we'll win. And then the coach, mm. according to Asamwajan's mm -hmm. camp, the coach called Asamwajan on Sunday to, you know, as the information came to him, just to give the same thing to Asamwajan. That okay. is what I've been told. Uh, you, uh, you want me to go? Uh, no? please, please proceed. Okay. That this is what I've been told. That if I make us, uh, Andrea you the skipper of the team, we'll win this competition. And you know how this is dear to all of us. It's been a while since we won, so let's just do this and win the competition and come to Ghana. So I want you, Jan, to come out and say, OK, I am part of the team, which the coach told him that you are part of the team. There is no way I'm taking you out. You are part of the team. But I want you to come out and say that I'm no more it's, the captain. It's and an is, you understand? So I think we have to factor that in our it's, discussion. It's an so interesting point with it. the discussion. Yeah. The issue of spirituality mm. in our football. Um, but let me bring you, Fifi, to fact check the statement in Samoa Jan's uh, uh, a release it, and I quote as an active footballer yet to retire I have been in the team since 2003 and I've played with some members of the technical team who were my seniors through such periods there were no times substantive captains were part of a team in a tournament and had to surrender their captaincy to other players and served in different capacities you say this is a lie Fifi what examples uh, well as a so what example do you have? Chance, well, that statement is interesting because around 2012, this was around November, October, thereabouts, um, John Mensah was named general captain of the team, and Asamwajan, who was then more active in form and everything, was named substantive captain of the team. If you run a quick Google search, and this is for anybody who's watching right now, you find so many headlines. This one says, I'm still general captain for Ghana, John Mensah. John Mensah's general captain role under review. I'm still general captain. John Mensah defends general captaincy. This is something that has happened before. So for him to come out to say explicitly in a statement that I have played through this and this has never happened before, I don't know. Maybe the dynamics of the situation is different. I heard Benedict talk about the spiritualist issue. These are things that we do not know for a fact. But what we do know for a fact is a statement. And all we are saying is that this is not the way to bow out. As Jan, you can do better than this. 16 years, you know, after so many achievements, you are Africa's top scorer at the World Cup, and you choose to be remembered as the guy who quit because he wasn't made captain. That is all we are saying. I mean, it's not about justifying Andrea. It's not mm. about justifying Kusia Bia. It's not about justifying the injustice that is happening within the Black Fifi. Star, which up to now mm. I've not seen any evidence for anyway. Fifi, aren't we, aren't we oversimplifying the issue if we say it's just over captains because um, Benedict here has tried to give us some background, some history to this. This is more than meets the I, eye. I understand. I understand there's more than meets the eye, but as someone that also has to recognize that, you see, like I said, leadership comes with responsibility. Now he wants to be remembered for this because that's what he has put out. 
everybody's going to say, oh, Wasamwajan is that guy who quit because he said, and he said it, we are not the ones speculating, he said it explicitly. If you had come out to say, I'm stepping aside due to personal reasons, that would have been so graceful. Mm. You know, maybe later we'll sort out the issues, but now you put the team on the brink of angst on the eve of a major tournament, the squad hasn't been announced. If Ghana goes to the Akron and we win, how is it going to make him look? You understand what I'm yeah, saying? There are so many dynamics mm. to this. As a leader, mm. you shouldn't be breaking camp unity just because you felt you should have gotten something. All right. I'm not oversimplifying. I'm just saying that there's responsibility. And as a wonder, should know that his words and his actions carry meaning, especially right. as a leader. And let me bring in Nana Juman here. Nana, Fifi says this would break or affect unity in the camp. How do you see this impacting on our uh, mission or campaign to end our Afghan drought? Well, first of all, um, there's, no, there's never been any unity. There was unity in 2006 when I was in Germany with yeah. the team when we first uh, played the World Cup. There was unity there. Some small niggling problems, but there was unity. After, after that, 2008, Cannes 2008, there's never been any unity. There's always been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of issues, and no one wants to deal with it. Everyone wants to tell the public, uh, that the rumors they're hearing are not true. So this is not going to affect any unity because you can't affect a non-existent unity. It's not there. There are two factions in the Black Stars. One is the Jan faction. The other is the IU faction. Today, the IU faction are celebrating. There's no two ways about it. And the Jan faction, some of them are considering saying that they're not available if they are poor to play in the national team. You better believe it. Now, you know, another issue is that, look, we've never run the Black Stars properly. And technically, that we've never done it properly either. Because Jan can come out and say quite clearly it's about the captain's armband because he's been made to believe that that's personal property. Because we've not run things professionally. So it's been seen as, oh, this belongs to you, Asamoah. Just as a, a place in the starting lineup belongs to Jan, whether he's performing or not. Mm. Why? Mm. Because we don't have a strict, comprehensive selection criteria. This is something I've been talking about for years. We must have a selection criteria. These days, sports journalists are breaking down the seconds that every player plays and what the contribution is. And it makes it somewhat easier for us to make the, the, the right selection. Mm. But we're hey, not doing that. Let me and come in just here. Yeah, um, just on the bit where you say we've never run the Black Stars properly, technically and professionally. Now, this is a, as Anna Samojan, who has at times used his personal money Precisely. to support the Black Stars. And this is where those who side with him say he's not been treated fairly in the sense that he's done probably more than what any other Black Stars captain has done. He shouldn't have to have done that. He shouldn't have to have used his money. And that's an indictment on the management, that a player has had to use his money to bring players home. That should never have ever happened. And that's why he can, that's another reason why he can come out and say, mm. I'm, I'm resigning because I'm not the captain. Because he believes the whole thing belongs to him. It's his personal property. That's how things have been going. When the management can't deal with things, Jan has to deal with it. And, you know, it's gone beyond just being a captain on and off the field. It, I mean, he's had to dig into his own personal pocket. That's it's absolutely ridiculous. Now, now, thank you very much for your time this morning. Nana Juman is a football coach and an analyst. I'll give you, Fifi Juman just a minute to wrap up your thoughts on this issue. Um, just a minute, quickly, to wrap up your thoughts. Uh, wow. So I, I just wanted to pick up where Nana left off, which is that Samwajan mentioning in a statement that he's had to support financially. Look, we appreciate it. But this is the national team for crying out loud. People have died for Ghana. What is your money to Ghana? I mean, some of these things you don't put out. I always say people around them have to be fair to him. If you love the man, you tell him you don't go about things this way. You understand? Nobody should be using their personal money to support the national team. Does he know how the national team was set up? Come but if on. he didn't bring that money, what would it have been like for us during those times? 
if he didn't bring the money? People have done more and even bigger okay. things for the national team. All I'm right. sure we need to go back and look at some All of right. these things. Thank, Fifi, you, very much, thank you very much. Fifi Anamane uh, is a sports journalist with Pisa TV. Benedict, this is uh, how we may have to end it with. Uh, Asamojan has retired and, yes, and that's yeah, it. Said, well, I, I think one way you have to look at it this way. Uh, that statement, how he communicated his decision, I mean, from a leader, I thought that uh, possibly maybe he could have done it in a more uh, diplomatic way mm. than to come out this way. Because, you know, we are preparing for a sure. and that we have to do everything right to ensure. Mm. But on the other hand, the issues are deeper than how you see it. Mm. Definitely, there will be more analysis here on the Joe News Channel, on our sports program, Super Candidate, with the Joe Sports Team. But that will be it for our conversation on Asamoah Jan's announcement of uh, his retirement. <laughs>